If I've learned anything from writing comics uh, and writing anything as long as I have, it's that art is bigger than the artist, and that once it's out of our hands, it really belongs to you guys. And I've always felt very strongly that your interpretation is much more important than my intent. But uh, you know, for the most part, I'm just grateful to have written something that can be seen, you know, in many different ways and is worthy of being studied. So, uh, with that in mind. Uh, I've been wanting to make a video about the comic series Saga. It's written by Brian K. Vaughn, who has won awards for his previous works such as Ex Machina and Why the Last Man. And the illustrations are done by the extremely talented Fiona Staples. Together, they have been able to create an entire universe that is dripping with lore and wonder. It feels as massive as the Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and Game of Thrones franchises combined. This series has managed to rake in 12 Eisner Awards, 17 Harvey Awards, and one Hugo Award respectively. There is no denying the amount of achievement this comic book has already made since its introduction back in March of 2012. For the past seven years, this series has dominated the market of comics, beating out all the competition for top sales. People of all ages, genders, and race have come together in celebration for the universe Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples has been able to develop. This space epic is more than anything I could have ever wanted out of a story, and more. It has given us the most realistic characters that I have ever seen. The way the adventures unfold are engaging in every way possible. Some issues of this comic can have you feeling every single type of emotion a human being could have. And that's partly why it keeps you coming back every month. You fall in love with all the characters within this chaotic world. Brian K. Vaughan doesn't just streamline them to fit the mold of a typical protagonist and then sprinkle in a few flaws here and there. He takes their flaws and brings them front and center and forces each and every character to make extremely difficult and sometimes heartbreaking decisions. And as we watch the characters grow, we grow with them as well. By making their personalities so mind-blowingly relatable, we as readers begin to almost experience and feel everything they are going through. I can't describe enough how effective the writing in this comic is. It has an unapologetic and uncensored raw approach. Some of the images are jarring to say the least. And some of the story arcs can end unceremoniously, very similar to Game of Thrones in that aspect. Because in real life, there is a balance between the beauty and the ugly sides of the world around us. There is horrible violence and pure evil that exists, but there can also be love and gorgeous moments we all experience on a daily basis. And that is why this comic is and will always be so momentous. Now I want to dive into the awe-inspiring and extraordinary job done by Fiona Staples. The amount of labor that went into constructing a universe as vibrantly colorful and tangible as this one was absolutely remarkable. The way she designs every planet, every spaceship, every piece of land, every building, every character, everything, had me losing my breath every single time I picked up a new copy. The artwork transports you into a new world that not only feels real, but you believe could actually exist somewhere out there in the vastness of space. My favorite part of this comic is the ability that Fiona has been able to display with her craft. It literally is a Pandora's box of imaginations filled with endless possibilities. It's a perfect symphony of colors and visuals that leave you captivated and hungry for more throughout each issue. Some of the images are so absurd, they leave you speechless but also leave you with a sense of yearning to see what else will come in the next page. After looking back on Saga, the one thing that has forever stuck with me is a line written in a novel within the story itself. Find meaning in the meaningless. 
And I think that is what makes this space epic so massive and why so many people have connected with it. This comic is simply art imitating life. There are wars destroying worlds, people fighting for love, their children, and for their families, a prince who doesn't want to continue on in the destructive ways of his family legacy, reporters who seek to let the truth prevail, but ultimately have to keep their gay relationship secret or else facing imprisonment, segregation between the two different races at war which echo all too similar aspects of our societies throughout history, and the list goes on and on. This world is full of corruption and bloodshed and meaningless violence, but the characters who inhabit this world, the characters we are following, are on a quest to find meaning in the meaningless. They all come together through overwhelming and difficult circumstances to form a bond. They find comfort in connecting with one another, and it's heartwarming every step of the way. There is so much going on in this chaotic universe that eventually we begin to attach to something or someone going on in this story. And it's in this aspect that has truly become a worldwide phenomenon. The way this comic book has been able to garner such a widespread fascination and connection among fans is one rarely seen in an independently written comic book. Just like how Alana and Marco were able to see past their own differences and fall in love simply by reading the same fictional novel within this story, many fans have been able to connect by reading Saga, like life imitating art. Hey everyone, just wanted to thank you all for watching my video on Saga. Let me know your thoughts on that space epic down below in the comment section. Also, I wanted to give a special thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. We finally reached over 100 subscribers and counting. It's really exciting to see where this channel is headed, and I couldn't do it without all your support. If you're new, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all next time on Tribute This.